This is a place full of cactuses here. Look at so many cactuses. I was thinking to have a look and try to get some cactuses today. But they're all dry. Don't know why. Don't know why they're all dry. Look at them. I mean, not all dry, but still. Much worse than I used to remember them. I'm not sure if it was a fire or just some diseases. Just got dry, maybe from the drought. Not enough water, but they're cactuses, so they should be able to survive without much water. This whole area used to be full of these prickly pear cactuses, so you could get a lot of fruits from them. But these are new ones. New ones. This is a secret spot. This is a secret spot and I'm not joking when I say that. I mean it's that secret. There is a hole in the middle of the ground here. I don't know what's there. There's a whole well in there. Wow. Interesting. I'll get the flashlight. Okay, flashlight. So we have this place. We have this place that it's a secret spot for prickly pears. And I just found a hole, a hole in the middle of the road here. And I'm going to get the flashlight now to see what's there. It's probably just water on the other side. So I go to the car. The car here. Oops. Not unlocked. Flashlight and the utility knife. Flash. Oh shit. Okay, I have a hammer. <coughs> okay. My pants are falling. We try not to drop everything. So we have the flashlight and knife. Let's see how it's there. So I'll take the flashlight and <clears throat> I'll take the flashlight and see what's in this hole. Hole in the ground. Imagine. This is a road, cars drive through here, and there is the hole. Doesn't look like much. Let's see if we shine a light. Hope nothing bites me here. Noses. Strange.
and the flashlight is on but not very powerful <coughs> so I don't know what that is it's probably a toilet hole in the ground as a toilet and this is our prickly pears there's bees going on it silly I was hoping to get some prickly pears catch them with a tool this was the plan, that's why I came here turns out not much to take from here so yeah Maybe really it was some kind of disease, some fungus that ate these prickly pears. It looks like it's something eating them from inside. And they got really deflated like balloons. Those white spots there, those are mealy bugs. I've seen them before around here. Mealy bugs. There's more. I mean, this one looks pretty dramatic. I mean, look at it. It's like they all melted. All these cactuses here, all the cactuses melted, really. They used to be bright green, really nice. Maybe someone sprayed them with something. I mean, look at it. It's really not the great now. Other than the hole in the ground, other than the hole in the ground and these prickly, prickly pears that don't go well anymore, there's not much to do around here. This hole actually is pretty, pretty, yes, yeah, someone could easily fall in there. If it breaks a bit more, it's on the road, just like that, just like that, hole in the road, working on it, work around it. I guess who is supposed to know about it, they already know, maybe no, don't know. I will try to find at least one cactus that looks decent. I'm not sure if that's possible. There are many flamingos here. Can you hear them? Flamingo birds. This is the salt dig here. Yeah, so... Before I tried some of these prickly pears here, Before I tried some of these prickly pears here and they were pretty nice. Now, not great at all. This pine tree makes a really nice sound when the wind blows through it. Listen to it. There's people at the Salt Lake, birds' nests. Or I don't know what it is. Looks nice. This not so nice. Dry cactuses. And you can see this uh, the cactus cactus building materials. Look, look how they're made there. 
Look how they're made. Look. It's like veins inside the cactus leaf. Uh, here you can see even better. This is the structure of the cactus leaf. leaf. It's really interesting. I really think it was some kind of disease. And they got it and it was a it really destroyed all of them. But some are still okay. Look the tops are still okay. Lots of bees around here, I hope I don't get stink. Don't get a sting. Bee sting. So this side looks a bit better. It's dry, but only the trunks. The top, top is green. So that's nice. Looks pretty good. Green cactuses. I came with a stick and a tool to collect <laughs> the <laughs> I came with a stick and a tool to collect the I came with a stick and a tool to collect the prickly pears from the cactuses. Oh. Oh. Big bumblebee. Stick and tools to get the prickly pears. I even have a bucket with me. No, no prickly pears. Nothing in sight. It's fine. No, no need for prickly pears. Yeah, that's the Salt Lake flamingos are all there eating shrimps. Flamingos like shrimps a lot. Yeah, I guess that's it about this place. You see some holes on the leaves, like they were eaten by something. Yeah, some kind of... I've seen also people burning the... burning some of the leaves before to get the fruits. It's not a good idea at all. It's a really bad idea to destroy the plant. Yeah, if they burn the leaves to get the cactus fruits, they don't get sting, but they also don't get fruits next year. <laughs> so, that's not very future planning. But I think here there was a, some kind of pest. I'll try to find another place now. Okay. Lots of bees. <laughs> 